Hello and what's up guys, welcome to another tutorial from How To. Now this tutorial is catered for foreigners who wants to buy USA stock. Uh, yes, you could probably use your own brokers in your country to buy USA stock, but for Malaysia, it would probably cost 20 US dollars for more for any uh, US stocks transaction. So having a USA based uh, brokers is definitely good if you want to trade on a long-term basis. So if you do not have an account on Interactive Brokers, you can use our affiliate link on the link below to register for one. You also need to provide a copy of proof of identification, proof of address, and a working phone that is able to receive SMS. As for registration, it's definitely easier to register using the website. Uh, you can use the phone app later to buy or sell any US-based stock. The first step you will need to do is open an account on Interactive Brokers. Now I will be clicking on Open Account. Next, click on Start Application to proceed. On the first page of the application form, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You will need to enter the necessary information. And once you have done that, you will need to verify the email that was used for the application. Okay, once you have verified your email, it is time to log in to complete your application with Interactive Brokers. And next, the application form is pretty much self-explanatory. You will just need to fill in the necessary information. Next, put in your tax identification number along with the identification documentation which is applicable for your country. And once you have confirmed your personal information, you will need to confirm the type of account that you want to open with Interactive Brokers. The rest of the application form is pretty much self-explanatory. You will need to put in your signature in the last part of the form. Okay, after you have submitted your form, you will need to verify some information with Interactive Brokers. You will need to confirm your mobile number, submit your photo ID, and submit a document to verify your residential address. So this is how your screen would look like once you have confirmed your mobile number, submitted your photo ID, and submitted a document to verify your residential address. So the next step would be funding your Interactive Brokers account. To do that, click on the Fund Your Account option. Over at the funding page, there are various options which you can use to fund your IB account. We have researched various ways which you can fund your account, but we find that the best way is to use a bank wire transfer, especially when you have a foreign bank. Click on the Bank Wire option to proceed. Over this page, you will need to enter the information of the bank which you are sending the fund from. And once you have completed the form, click on the Get Wire Instruction to proceed. Over at the last page of the bank, wire instruction would be the most crucial piece of information that you want to include on your bank wire transfer. You will need to make a telegraphic transfer to the Interactive Brokers Bank with the information given. From our experience, it doesn't matter how much you are sending from your bank. Just make sure you are sending your fund to the correct bank. And most importantly, you will need to include your payment reference, which is your account number and your account name. And once the interactive brokers receive your funds with the payment reference, it will automatically convert the fund into USD and credit the funds into your interactive brokers account. So this is how it looks like when I do a foreign telegraphic transfer from my bank. As my bank do not support the reference field, I will just put my code into any field. The bank recipient details would be exactly the same as the bank wire details. In less than 5 hours after doing the foreign telegraphic transfer, we have managed to receive the fund on our IB account. We can now install the IB app and start trading US stocks with the IB app. Overall, the IP app is very easy to use. You will need to log in with the same username and password which you have created. Buying and selling US stocks would be similar with any stock trading app. We hope that the tutorial has been informational to you. Thank you and have a nice day.